what's up welcome back to my channel we're here again with a quick makeup tutorial um i normally go in with a cream primer setting primer but i did a spray and then i of course i probably baked not baked but a setting powder um over the primer and then we did the eyebrows and i'm going in with the foundation of course i'm gonna pet that in I wonder if I should use like a darker setting powder so it could like really blend in with my skin. Can I tell you this? As I watch my videos, I look at like things I could do better and what will like make the finished product even better. So while I'm watching it, I kind of come up with like, okay, do that differently, do that differently for a different result. But I kind of was mixing my foundation up with the setting powder because I wanted a smooth finish. My face looked oily. But here I'm going to do this orange look. I'm going to put it up in the screen somewhere around this mark. Um, I saw it on Pinterest. I don't know where I place it, but I'll place it. I saw this look on Pinterest. Now they didn't have the pink. It was just the orange eye. And I was like, oh my God, I have to do it. Um, so sometimes when I do my makeup, I really just get the ideas from Pinterest or I see it on Instagram. And then here, instead of like a white base, this is more like a creamier and not like whatever that white base I used, I didn't like. But this, I like this one a lot. Um, and you see me kind of cut crease that. Whoa. First off, I didn't even know I had that skill. And then I went in with the orange. Now the picture well i guess you'll see the picture and then you'll be like okay it's a little different i didn't do it exactly like the picture but i definitely wanted to come close and then just add my own you know kazam shazam whatever to it um but here i'm just going in with my orange and i want to pat it in i want that orange to really pop um so i kind of did a base coverage and then now you're seeing me like let's make it even dark darker with a flat brush so that's the final orange look now i'm going in with you know you know the steps you know the routine put your dang on concealer under there um you could do a lighter color um and then go in with like an even brighter or you can mix them it'll still give you the same effect but Another thing is I think I use too much of that white concealer because it kind of whites me out. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'm being overcritical because you know how they say you're harder on yourself than anyone else because it's like, oh, it gives. And, but you also like, OK, I could do this better and I could do that better. But it always going to give when it comes to me, baby, nonetheless. But I could still be like, you know, I want to do this differently and I want to do that differently. Um, and you see, I kind of use the concealer to um, get rid of that extra orange on the outside that I did not want. And I also put purple, like a dark lip liner purple under like on my waterline. But, you know, we're not done. Trust the process. Yeah, see this concealer here, I can use a smaller amount and it'll still do the job because a little of that just it really stretches out of course if we ain't gonna do nothing baby we is gonna contour i'm finna give you chiseled jawline chiseled cheeks what can you not see it already shaping up whoever came up with this contouring thing you're a genius i love it i am so glad i'm super into makeup now and I'm really just blending it. Um, and I just want to talk to you guys. And this is me using a dark contouring color. Um, you each is on. I use a darker one because it just gives it that cut more. I do use a bronzer sometimes or I might go over it with the bronzer. Uh, but I love a good deep cut. You see me invisibly the nose. I'm making up words. <laughs> Not as an English teacher, child. Get this girl. You know, I'm just blending out this white concealer. So you see how bright that is? I'm telling you, even using a little bit more, I brought this concealer on accident. And once I started seeing people use an even lighter color, I was like, shut the front door. I used one one time and it made me look white. 
and it was like okay i can't use that but this one is a lot it's a little darker than what i originally used before but i can use even less because you see how bright it is i like it that bright to be honest with you but i'm gonna try something like a shade lighter or use less and see if i'll still get like a good coverage overall and then i'm just blending in my nose yes you see how you turn to the side and look like it ain't there Ooh, no nose me please and this is that dark purple underneath dang it got on my eyeball child that literally had my eye running so while i'm giving y'all tips i am learning my own tips it was so hard to like do it under my eye because i don't know how it got in my eye oh i should have did like a black water line or like a white water line that would have been sickening but i have to say i'm a fan and now we're gonna really just like set that concealer in i definitely didn't want to do it before i put in my purple Ooh, it's giving boss bit bad bitch that's what it is Ooh, it's giving bad bitch I'm here for it. I'm super excited. I already know what the final look is, but I just like almost for my pleasure. I enjoy watching um, makeup videos. I went for a winged eye, you guys. Um, and then I messed it up. And I hate when you mess it up because like I use this oil to get rid of it. And if it's still wet, it makes it super hard to kind of like put product back on it so it's almost like starting over it's giving boss bitch it's giving bad bitch not me like filming content and then i added the content in here i would delete it but i feel like that's hilarious because i didn't even okay know. so i deleted some of that no out i have that to is hilarious um so i'm adding yeah, so that was a mess. So I'm just going ahead and adding my blush. I did an orange blush because that's what the lady gave, baby. Yes. Took the scarf off. It's the braids to the back. It's giving very much set it off. Oh, no. Now she done put the wig on. All snap. All snap. Baby girl finna come through. And the lashes are lashing. <laughs> It's me not being able to speak English, y'all. Lately, I've been having a hard time, like, getting my lashes how they need to be. Like, they one might be over too much, one might be the other way, and it's just not on there how I want it. But nonetheless, I'm going to go ahead and finish with the look, but I'm here for it. Yes. Let it dry, babes. Let it dry. I'm here for the wig, yes. Let's add the gloss. So this lady had this color, and as you can see, it is washing me out. It is a fool. But let me tell you right now, one thing about me is in makeup, you could always change it. I think that company is called M M D Mel Divas. I think I might not be saying it right. I haven't really worn her lipsticks, but I'm trying them out now. Um, it was very creamy and not drying out, so it was definitely a good lipstick. So I really like it. I definitely left it out because I have it just like somewhere that's not in like, this is some main stuff that I use. And I like the calm. I don't really like the color necessarily for myself, but it's good if you're mixing it with something else. So I went in with a brown liner um, just to wash it down because it was just too much for me it was ugh, it was ugly okay just on my skin complexion not the color itself so the matte has dried and i'm liking what the brown is giving me right here take your time oh it looks like it's purple and then it went over with a brown nude because that matte dried out it's still a little washed out, but I like how it's giving me some type of color. 
my lips look a little fake too i'm here for it oh and then we're gonna go ahead and set that you guys never see me set my face but i do fin final look three two one like share and subscribe bye